we're gonna head back to Joshua Tree and we are gonna get a photo of the sunset. It's really beautiful clouds right now. It's October and we you get those clouds that are kind of, what do you call them? What are they like? They're patterns. They're like cotton balls. Yeah, the big cotton ball. Like not big fluffy, they're, but they're like... Wispy. Yeah, I don't know what they are. But yeah, we got the really, really nice clouds for a sunset. We were up at Poppy's in Pioneer Town yesterday and the sunset, it was one of those, you know, pink and blue, just really beautiful fall sunsets. So we're gonna go find a nice Joshua tree, nice pile of rocks, set the camera down, and get some bangers for Instagram. It appears we are not the only people that want to get a beautiful photo of Joshua Tree tonight. It appears we live in California and there happens to be another 30, 40 million people. And even if 1% of those people want a photo of Joshua Tree tonight, that's still too many. <laughs> oh, oh this person gave around. up. They gave up. They don't want no photo of Joshua Tree no more. I get it. I get it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth the Instagram. That's what separates us. That's what separates you from the pack. Well, there's definitely some Joshua trees around here. There's a pile of rocks back there. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if this is a good spot. You see something good over here, Paige? What do you see? No, I'm just adjusting my settings. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought you found something good. Not yet. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh, do you see a Joshua tree? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is there one over there too? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that one? Yeah. What's so special about that one? It's a big guy. It's a big guy? <laughs> With all the tiny ones behind it. So what I look for when I'm doing landscape photos, I need my aperture at least around an eight or a nine. If it's higher, the better, but I usually don't have a tripod. Whoa, it's windy. Let's find somewhere where there's no wind. Like I was saying, when I when I do my landscape photos, usually I want at least an eight or nine aperture. If I can go higher, the better, but that's usually a sweet spot for me. I try to get something in the foreground, so that's like here, I, I wanna use that like a, like, like a rock. A rock is gonna be my foreground, then my focus will be like the Joshua tree. That's what I'm gonna have in focus. And then I want a beautiful sunset or I want mountains in the background. That's like the ideal photo. Or I can have the Joshua tree up front, kind of and and then like the rock formation that can be the whoa what the frick was that no i'm okay <laughs> or the rock formation can be the focal point either way this is perfect right now the sun is amazing um i like shooting into the sun i don't always like to but it's looking beautiful right now So, so one other thing that I really like to do is shoot down low, try to get some grass, try to get something a little in front of the shot. I know I like doing the rocks and stuff, but sometimes it's good to get some out of focus grass in front of the camera. It looks cool. Um, and then also, when you got some something up here, when you got something to go high, going high is always a good idea. So if that's one thing, that's one pro tip. When you can go high, go high. All right, well, the sun's peaked behind the mountains over there, so we're pretty much done for now. We're gonna stick around. Hopefully, we'll see the sky light up pink. Don't know if that's gonna happen or not, so. If it happens, you'll see it here at the end. If not, this is the end. What do you have to say? Uh. <laughs> I have to say, sometimes when I'm taking landscapes, I just point the camera at the thing that's the most interesting and I just take the picture. There's no secret. Sometimes you just 
see something pretty and you just point the camera at it. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> so Paige, tell me, why do you like Joshua Tree so much? I like, I like Joshua Tree so much because it's so uniquely different than any place I've personally ever seen in the world. I grew up in the mountains, so I'm used to going out into the woods and having that as a as an escape. But it's a different it's a different kind of quiet, and I don't think any pictures do it justice. But don't come to Joshua Tree because I don't want to be overcrowded. Yeah, we already have to wait like 30 minutes to get in, into the park. It, it don't don't. You're not invited. <laughs> increase that anymore. Come here when we're not here. Come here in the summer when everyone else comes here. We're not coming here in the summer. It's too hot. Yeah, no, you can go get heat stroke on your own. <laughs> we will not be joining you. So do you want to just enjoy Joshua Tree in peace right now and, not, and have me stop filming you? Yes. <laughs>